Hello there, welcome back to the new lecture. So in this lecture, we are going to discuss fresh air handling unit selection or in short you can say FHU selection. So for that, I will show you the FHU selection in Excel sheet. So first you can see here I have opened my Excel sheet. Okay. So here we have a project. Okay. Classroom one, classroom two, office. So it is a of school building suppose okay so first of all if you want to do the selection for fresh air handling unit you need to find out the fresh air CFM for each and every room okay suppose I want to supply the condition air in classroom 1 classroom 2 also in office area and suppose in lobby also I want to supply the condition air so in each and every room you have to find out for each and every room how much fresh air we need to supply all of you know about the fresh air outside air okay so for that what you have to do just open it here I have written the space name so already I have make a video I have uploaded video on how to calculate the fresh air CFM value if you have not seen that video so you can see in the top part of this video you will get the link of fresh air CFM calculation just go through it okay now see here the space name is given classroom 01 5 to 8 ages classroom 02 plus 9 ages office lobby and we are designing for Hyderabad location you can see it is written okay so whatever as per your requirement where you are designing so I am designing for Hyderabad okay so to find out the fresh air CFM we have a formula what CFM per person into number of people plus CFM per square feet into area okay so that is why first we need to calculate this all thing area of each and every space so from where you will get the area from the layout only just open your project and you can see the for classroom one length is given 40 feet uh, width is 30 feet so 40 into 30 1200 square feet same way for classroom 2 30 into 30 okay 900 square feet for office you will get the length and width 300 square feet same way you have to calculate the area for lobby so for lobby if you want to calculate the area for lobby first calculate the total area of this passage then minus this canteen area staircase area toilet and OTS so you will get around 935 square feet okay so here you have to write down the detail 1200 we have got for classroom 1 900 square feet area for classroom 2 for office 300 and for lobby we have calculated 935 square feet correct now next we need to find out the CFM per person value so this value you will get CFM per person or CFM per square feet this value you will get from the ASHRAE ventilation standards so here I am opening that ASHRAE ventilation standard you can see here when you open the table minimum ventilation rate in breathing zone uh, I think table number 6.1 okay so when you open here see based on this category occupancy category here they have they have given you the CFM per percent value CFM per square feet value okay even here you can easily find out with the help of this table you can easily find out the number of people also occupant density so we are designing for what for classroom na? we are calculating CFM per percent CFM per square feet value for classroom ages 5 to 8 so it is written either it is a 5 to 8 or plus 9 ages student so CFM per person value is given for both 10 and CFM per square feet value is given how much 0 0.12 so first of all write down that for classroom 10 for CFM per person and CFM per square feet 0 0.12 okay just write down that detail now same way you have to calculate this all value for office and lobby so again open your ASHRAE ventilation standard just scroll down here you will get the in office building office space is written CFM per person how much we have to take 5 CFM per square feet 0 0.06 for lobby also see main entry lobby is given so here this only you have to consider 5 and 0 0.06 so here I am writing 5 CFM per person for both and CFM per square feet is 0 0.06 for lobby also 0 0.06 now here we need to find out the number of people okay so in classroom one how many number of people so remember number of people value you will get from the uh, based on furniture layout 
you have to decide the number of people suppose in your layout if furniture is not given so okay you have to ask with architecture or interior decorator they will give you the information otherwise we have a last option just open your ashtray ventilation is standard you can see occupant density is also given so see in classroom one i want to find out the number of people for classroom ages 5 to 8 so you can see here occupant density is showing here uh, the recommended value is given for 1000 square feet area how many people you have to consider for classroom ages 5 to 8 25 so our classroom area is 1200 square feet so one for 1000 square feet we have to consider 25 number of people so for 1200 square feet how much so let's say x now you have to draw the cross multiplication so you will get around uh, 30 same way for classroom 2 you will get the detail here for 1000 square feet you have to consider plus 9 ages 35 number of people so our area is 900 square feet so for 932 okay just write down 32 same way you have to calculate for office okay so you will get two number same way for lobby 10 so here you can see the fresh air cfm for classroom 1 444 uh, because already i have applied the formula you can see just here it is written in the top part uh, f6 means cfm per person into number of people plus cfm per square feet value into area so when you apply the formula you will get 4000 sorry 444 cfm same way for each and every room we have calculated the fresh air cfm now here you will get the total fresh air cfm 1006 cfm and we are designing for Hyderabad. Now you can see here I have drawn the AH, FHU also. So outside air first, uh, the outside, uh, suppose if you have placed this FHU above the terrace. So what we are doing, we are taking the outside air means fresh air. So the temperature of fresh air is what based on your location means in Hyderabad, what is the dry bulb temperature in summer season maximum dry bulb temperature in summer season so this value you will get from the ashtray handbook when you open the ashtray handbook climatic design topic so in that you will get the outside design data here it is see so as per your state and station for we are designing for Hyderabad suppose if you are designing for any other for Mumbai for coaching so different all around the world uh, whatever your location as per that you have to design so i am designing for andhra pradesh hyderabad so in summer season you can see the dry bulb db dry bulb temperature it is showing 106 wet bulb 78 degree fahrenheit relative humidity outside 28 percent so outside dry bulb temperature maximum it is given 106 okay so it means uh, the air which enter into this ahu at what temperature 106 degree fahrenheit Fahrenheit okay here you can see the coil is also shown in that coil uh, the chilled water is there which is coming from chiller so first of all we have to uh, treat that air uh, actually FHU we are using for what purpose to treat and to reduce the temperature of air so now we have to reduce the temperature and make it at 76 degree Fahrenheit okay then that 76 degree Fahrenheit air we need to supply to the AHU or FCU getting now okay come here we have calculated the fresh air CFM total fresh air CFM value now you have to calculate the sensible heat so to find out the sensible heat here we have a formula all of you know this formula 1.08 into CFM into delta T so CFM value cubic feet per minute means fresh air CFM value already we have calculated route down that value 1106 uh, sorry 1006 okay delta t means temperature difference we know that for hyderabad the outside maximum temperature is 106 degree fahrenheit and inside the room how much we have to maintain as per ashray human comfort temperature is 74 to 76 degree fahrenheit between this only we have to maintain so i'm assuming uh, inside we have to maintain 76 suppose we are maintaining for human comfort so 106 minus 76 here temperature difference is 30 okay as per that here you will get the sensible heat 32594.4 BTU per hour same way you have to calculate the latent heat so for that we have a formula here 0 0.68 into CFM into delta W 
CFM is same, fresh air CFM, so I am writing here 1006. Delta W is humidity ratio, change in humidity ratio. So, what is the out, uh, humidity ratio outside for Hyderabad and inside how much? So, based on that, uh, you will get the this ratio value. So, first of all, na, from where you will get this value? So, for that, here I have a psychometric software. So, in with the help of that software, I will explain you that how to find out the humidity ratio just open that software you can see here hit on this state point and processes add point write down the name of your city we are designing for Hyderabad so write down here Hyderabad now if you enter here two properties of air remaining all other properties you will get from this software okay so here uh, we know that outside tribal temperature for Hyderabad is given 106 okay Second, uh, from the Astra handbook, we get this thing. Na? And wet bulb temperature is also, we know, 78. So, when you enter these two properties, see the remaining property is showing here. So, from here, you can see the humidity ratio value is given in grain per pound, 100. Okay. So, it means for Hyderabad, outside, humidity ratio value is 100. Clear? A specific humidity or you can say humidity ratio. Now you have to find out the humidity ratio value inside the room. So for that, tell me inside the room how much temperature dry bulb we have to maintain as per human comfort? 76. So I am writing here 76. Now other property you know, yes we know that as per Ashley only, relative humidity always we have to maintain for 50 to 55 percent inside the room for human comfort in summer season. So just from this drop down list select relative humidity write down here 50% suppose. So as per that you will get the humidity ratio value 67 means 100 minus 67 is what 33 ok. So from here you will get the what this value. So I am writing here 32 humidity ratio change in humidity ratio as per that latent heat. Now we have to calculate the total heat sensible plus latent. So we have got 55. 1169 BTU per hour. Now we know that 1 TR is equal to how much BTU per hour? This conversion formula all of you know. 12,000 BTU per hour. So if you want to convert this total heat in TR, so okay BTU in TR, so you have to divide by 12,000. So see what I have done. 55,169.04 divided by 12,000. So here we have got 4.59 so the capacity of this FAHU is what 4 point uh, just near about 4.6 ton okay so in this way we have to do the fresh air handling unit selection so this is all about fresh air handling unit selection I hope all of you enjoy the session see you in next one